Delaying this game would not have mattered. It would still have been handled this poorly. Exhibit A. Two villains, one enemy type, no locations. Damn. This is a Marvel game? So you ask yourself, why is the game so lacking? Well, the obvious answers are A. That trying to focus on a single player and multiplayer experience drastically reduced the quality of both. And B. They probably thought that they could get away with trickling in microscopic amounts of content to keep people playing. In response to A, I've expressed on numerous occasions how mediocre I consider this uninspired single player, with forced injections of unskippable, grindy ass missions clearly intended for the post game live service, no in depth stealth missions for Widow, no ultimate destruction for Hulk, no Asgard for Thor. You may not have noticed it, but your brain did. It's a bad game. It's an okay Kamala and Pals adventure, but it's a bad Avengers game. In response to B, credit where credit is due, they were probably correct in assuming that they might be able to get away with this. Because the pathetic defenders of this incomplete disgrace of a title embarrass themselves in my comment section daily. Anything that isn't ball gargling is immediately toxic or negative to these people. And they've been moving goalposts since the beta. Oh my god, this beta is buggy as hell. It's just a beta, bro. Oh, oh, here come the launch. And the launch is just as buggy. <laughs> They're gonna patch it, bro. Oh my god, it's still buggy after the patch. <laughs> They're gonna patch it in the next patch, bro. My resources are gone. It doesn't take that much to gather more, bro. My progress is wiped. <laughs> you should have backed up your saves, bro. A month later, and the game hasn't changed. Content's coming. <laughs> you need to stop being so entitled. Imagine having excuses for everything in a $60 Marvel game with only two villains a month after release. You're defending a company. How can you even comment with Square Enix's crotch in your face? We get it. You don't respect yourself. But please, don't involve me in the realization of your kink. Not shaming, just saying. These people are who they aim for with products like this. They might have gone away with it too. But they overestimated just how much people were willing to tolerate. They sold people buttered toast, but didn't have enough butter to cover one sixteenth of the bread. It doesn't matter how good the butter is. If you can't cover the toast, people just got dry bread. And dry is an apt description for a game with offensively bad loot drops, boring, repetitive gameplay mechanics, bugs that can straight up delete your resources and progress, a game that wants to be a multiplayer game, but has only solo endgame activities for its highest loot, a game that's so proud of its single player campaign, but wait a minute, <laughs> the campaign still can't be replayed. To replay this game, you'd need to delete your save, which of course includes the post-game multiplayer grind. Some games have new game plus or bonus rewards and achievements for playing through multiple times, but not this game. In Marvel's Avengers, you can only play one time. All these things and more, a full month after this game's release. Studio head Scott Amos t spoke to Kotaku. You know, that's how you know they're in touch when they reached out for him, and he said that this game has great community management. The players will come back, he said. Here's why it's particularly hilarious. At the time that that news broke, the community manager had been missing in action for multiple weeks, and Scott Amos is super sure that more robots and two months of two archers, is, or is this gonna bring players back? Okay. The numbers you need require heroes like these, 
don't expect players to return a second before this, especially when we can only use one hero per party because we can't all use the same guy. <sighs> you can't have a Marvel game without Marvel in it. You can't have a looter without loot in it. And that's what this is. This game plays like a psychological experiment, like a test to see how much we'll tolerate. And the fans, especially those on the Reddit, were willing to throw you such a bone. Maybe two villains wouldn't suck that bad if the updates came regularly, but nope. Still two villains a month later. Maybe fighting just aim robots wouldn't suck so bad if there were fun modes like patrol or multiplayer endgame activities, but nope. Solo shit at the end? Maybe having no Marvel locations initially wouldn't suck if we had a roadmap that was made apparent. We could expect something like Asgard, Wakanda, Latveria, Atlantis in the future. Nothing like that. You ice that cake with the lack of communication, and you might as well have been shoveling the dirt over the casket of this game. The state of Marvel's Avengers Month 1 is people resorting to backing up their saves for fear of losing their progress. People exploiting their saves in order to replay the final six floors in your Mega Hive solo challenge so that maybe just maybe they won't get awful loot drops. The true middle finger. Players time traveling forward and backward in time like this was real life endgame, just trying to get good rolls on their gear. And you can call me a lot of things, but I never once made a video instructing people on how to do these things. Because honest to God, I was kind of scared that it could potentially contribute to some of these people losing their uh, saves. Even though I know people who definitely knew nothing about it that were losing their saves. Maybe I was a little bit embarrassed to be playing this game in its state, because I've made glitch videos with other games. The brain dead defenders of this game think I'm making these videos chasing views, but if they were literate, they could look back through the years of this channel and see just how comfortable I am exactly where I am. I could have wasted your time in the beginning of this video with intros like, what is up guys, and begging you for subscribers and likes, and here's my Twitter. Oh my god. Before you know it, a minute and a half of your time are gone, two minutes are gone. I could use a magnifying glass and only focus on the good things that this game has to offer. But you know what the problem is? I'm straight. I'm a man. I know that sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And I live in a world where when I pay for something, I should kind of get something resembling what I paid for. At least resembling it, you know what I mean? If you took your car in for alignment, and they returned it to you with three flat tires, would your response be, well at least one of the tires is inflated? That's what y'all sound like, <laughs> you know? It's like, it's like role play. It's, it seems so bad that you guys can't be serious in the comment section, but you really are. That's sad. I make these videos because I'm confused at how something like this could happen. The game releases broken, buckling, unplayable, just a mess. And you know what? Fine. It's not the first time that's happened. Probably not going to be the last time it happens. Get that money. Hustle these people. You know what I'm talking about? Slay Square Enix. But how do you fail to monetize a property with 80 years of history? A property with diehard fans, new and old, frothing at the mouth, thirsty for the opportunity to play as their favorite heroes after TV shows and movies that are dominating pop culture. Fans would spend money on top of the $60. Some people paid $80, some people paid over $100, and they would pay more just to look sexy in some of the MCU skins, some of the comic book skins that they know and love. But right now, Marvel's Avengers, Fortnite is doing better than you. You lack the look. The game's awful cosmetics are easily the most whimsically shocking display of lazy wastes of the most lucrative, how, how many ways can I phrase, clown. When the gaming industry first saw you, you embarrassed yourselves with stunt double, knockoff looking, Guatemalan dollar store versions of the Avengers, and it was the most attention that you would ever have. You had time and the opportunity to make necessary adjustments to the look, much like Sonic the Hedgehog did, but instead you doubled down, less appealing alterations 
to looks that are older than the people working on them. Well, you just had to you had to smear your stain right on that. You thought you could enhance it, but really you're making it worse. You're covering women up. You're you're lazily adapting some of these things. Palette swaps, boring skins. You want us to pay fourteen dollars for this? If you hate money so damn much and you don't want MCU skins, okay, my dude. But if you out here allergic to comic books as well, shut this down. Shut it down. Shut this down. What can we do but theorize with hot tinfoil hats about how much you're pooping the bed here? Are you not allowed to make identical looking Avengers? Do you secretly hate your jobs and you want this to burn? Is this a psychological experiment? Is Marvel's Avengers the video game an SCP? And it's just like, it's meant to slowly make us matter the more we even think about it. The players are right to leave. The players will be right to stay gone. Six heroes, two villains, no Marvel locations, only robots, game crippling bugs, lost resources, lost progress, multiple hour solo endgame activities in your multiplayer game that will give you terrible loot on top of awful skins, but iced exquisitely by a lack of communication from the developers. When the remaining players realized that they were just beta testers, there was no one left to tell. Before I end this video, I want to thank you all for your awesome support. Liking, subscribing, contributing, links in the description, without even being asked. If you're like me, you, you genuinely wanted this to be better, and you hope that it may even get better. But it's also so bad right now that it would be impossible for it not to get better, you know? As long as it stays supported. To summarize, if this game wants a player base, it needs variety. If this game wants to keep its player base, the content needs to be consistent, and the devs need to communicate. But most importantly, if they want players money, they need to have cosmetics people actually want. I'll be here to talk about Marvel's Avengers when there's something to talk about. But for the next week, there's probably nothing. Ain't shit going on in this game you should be ashamed to be playing. Why? Why is there nothing going on in this game? I'm just kidding, man. You have fun doing whatever the hell you want to do. That's all that matters. As long as you're not hurting anybody, nobody should care. I sure as hell don't. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. And for all things news, reviews, and gaming, stay tuned right here on Kyle Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Kyle out. <laughs>